Imortagor Invisible God Immortal How great thou art Immortal Immortal God Invisible God Immortal God how great thou art, immortal, immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, how great thou art. Father, immortal, invisible, the almighty, the unchangeable God, we worship you. The only one who can give dreams and cause the dreams to pass. The only one who can start and finish. We bless your name. We thank you for being with us all this long. Thank you for preserving us, particularly during this year. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord God Almighty, as we gather again together in our various locations to dine with you at your table, we pray, Lord God Almighty, that we will start something new in our lives. That will give us something that will cause us to begin to dream great again. Amen. Father, show your glory Amen. and let all be well. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Well, let someone shout hallelujah. Our text this morning, or this evening, rather, will be Mark chapter 14, from verse 22 to 25. Mark chapter 14, from verse 22 to 25. As you know very well, our theme for this month is dream again the apostles watched as the Lord performed miracles they saw the lame walking the blind seeing they saw lepers being cleansed at his touch they saw him raising the dead, the one who had just died, the one who is going to be buried, and even the one that had been dead for four days. And they were amazed. And they dreamt of a day when they too could do the same thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, they really, really dreamt that one of these days we too will be doing all that a master is doing. They saw themselves as apprentices. And they tried to find out what is the secret. How is it that he's able to do all these things? And they observed that many a times by the time they woke up, it was gone. It would have gone into one secret place to go and pray. On one occasion, they had to follow him, try to locate where he went to. And they saw him praying there. They said, Master, the crowd that gathered, they are looking for you. 
It wasn't a crowd. They really came to announce. <laughs> they wanted to find out what is going on in these secret prayer meetings that the Lord was having. So in Luke chapter 11 verse 1, Luke chapter 11 verse 1, they said to him, teach us to pray. Maybe if we can be praying like he is praying, then maybe we too will be performing the miracles that he was performing. And then he taught them to pray. <laughs> and he didn't say anything about performing miracles. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. That will be done or not as is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh. <laughs> we are dreaming of performing miracles. You taught us a prayer, he didn't say anything about performing miracles. So, one day they asked him point blank in John chapter 6 from verse 28 to 29. John 6, 28 to 29. Master, Master, how can we do the work of God? How can we do what we are doing? Tell us. And he said, ah, all you need to do is believe on him who he has sent. Hey, uh, okay. We believe in you. Very soon now, in their dreams, they were saying, very soon now we will be performing the miracles, the kind of miracles he is performing. And then came Matthew 17 from verse 14 to 21. Matthew 17 from verse 14 to 21. And, and a man brought his son who was demon possessed to the apostles and asked them, Help me cast out this demon. I've been tormenting my son for a long time. And they tried. Oh, they tried. But nothing happened. Jesus, you know, if you read it from the beginning, from verse 1, went to the Mount of Transfiguration, was coming down when the Father now ran to him and said, Sir, <laughs> this is my problem. I brought the problem to your disciples. They couldn't do it. And Jesus cast out the demon, and the boy was old. Ah. So they now ask him, Secretly now, when they were alone. Why couldn't we do it? We wanted to cast out the demon. We want to do what you say. Uh, it's because of your unbelief. Ah, unbelief. Hey, we believe. <laughs> it's just that nothing happened. Nothing happened. Oh, well... This time does not go except with uh, fasting and prayer. Ah. Okay, oh, if it is going to involve fasting 40 days and 40 nights, <laughs> it looks as if we better forget. But then, in John chapter 14, verse 12, John 14, verse 12, he said to them, the works that I do, you shall do also. And even greater works than these shall you do. Because I'm going to my father. Ah, and they began to dream again. Okay, now, he's told us the truth. Okay, now, we know that as soon as he goes to his father, our dreams will be fulfilled. But nobody dares ask him, when are you going to your father? 
But they kept dreaming quietly. A day is coming and we will do great works. And good news for those of you who have been dreaming. I believe that from tonight, things will begin to happen in your life. Because finally, the text I read to you came in Mark chapter 14, from verse 22 to 25. Mark 14, 22 to 25. As they were eating, he took bread, broke it, gave to them, do this in remembrance of me, took the wine, drank it, and told them, this is the last time I'm drinking this wine with you. Last time uh, it's going, yes, all right. Do you know, as you come to the table of the Lord today, your dreams of performing miracles, signs, and wonders will begin to find fulfillment? Amen. All it takes is if we just believe what Jesus said. Because it wasn't long after that one that Jesus appeared to them again and said, now I'm going, but you are going to receive power. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Acts 1, verse 8. He said, you shall be witnesses unto me. What does that one mean? Who is a witness? A witness is someone who produces proof. When they call a witness in court, it's somebody who will say, either he will say, I was there, or I have proof that what this man is saying is true. What is the proof God is talking about? Miracles, signs, and wonders. Proof that Jesus Christ is alive. Proof that he's still on his throne. Prove that he had performed miracles before and he can do it again and again. And of course, you know the rest of the story. It wasn't long after that in Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4. Acts 2 from verse 1 to 4. And the Holy Spirit came. Power came upon the disciples and by the time you get to Acts chapter 5, and you read it from verse 12 to 16, Acts 5, 12 to 16, the Bible said, by the hands of the apostles were great miracles, great. They were not recorded for us in details because there, there, there were so many the Bible would not have been able to contain them all. Through these disciples, they dreamt. Initially, it appeared as if their dreams evaporated, but they dreamt again. And their final dreams were fulfilled. My brothers and sisters, when they do stop dreaming, When did you stop dreaming of doing marvelous things for God? Dream again. Don't approach this table tonight as an ordinary, regular, Holy Communion service that you've attended in the past. This time, before you come at all, dream. Dream big. Dream, see yourself raising the dead. Dream, see yourself opening blind eyes, making the lame to walk. Dream, see yourself a mighty vessel in the hand of the almighty God. Because himself, he himself promised greater works than this shall you do. 
If he said you can do greater works than he did, and his name is the truth, he's not a liar. He's waiting for you to believe him that it can happen. And the just shall live by their faith. And so, as we bow our heads in prayer, if there's anyone listening to me, and you too would love to do great works for God, you can only do great works for him if you are one of his. You know, when you give your life to Jesus Christ, that statement that he made that I am divine, my father is the husbandman, I am divine, and you are the branches, will become applicable to you. You will become an extension of him. And whatever the vine can do, the branches can do. So if you will surrender your life to him today, he will graft you into himself. You will become a branch of him. And very soon, your dreams of greatness will begin to come to pass. So if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, I beg you, don't waste any more day of your life. Surrender to him now so that you can become an extension of his hand that when you lay hands on the sick, they will recover. And miracles, signs, and wonders can happen through you. Yes, even as bad as you may think you are now, if you will surrender your life to him, you will become a vessel unto honor in his hand very soon. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, please bow your heads and let me pray with you. Call on him. Ask him to please save your soul. Ask him to forgive your sins. Ask him to become your Lord and Savior. Promise him that you will serve him for the rest of your life. Talk to him and I will pray with you in a moment. Thank you, my Father. Glory be to your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father, my God, the truth, the one who will never lie, the one who said, whosoever will come unto me, I will no wise cast out. I present to you all these people who are surrendering their life to you today. Father, please receive them. Save their souls. Amen. Let your blood wash away their sins. Amen. Write their names in the book of life. Amen. And please give them a brand new beginning. Amen. And Lord God Almighty, as they become believers, when they cry unto you for anything, please answer them by fire. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Well, those of you who have given your life to Jesus Christ today, please contact us as soon as possible so that we can be praying with you. And our brethren, as we approach the table of the Lord, I'm asking you to please start dreaming great. If you begin dreaming great, tonight can mark a new beginning. We want you to enter the year that is approaching an entirely different person, a mighty vessel to honor in God's hands. Oh, maybe you have dreamt of mighty things before, and it appears as if the dreams have not come to pass. Begin to dream again, and the fulfillment will begin even from tonight. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Praise Lord. May your mighty hands on all the silence. To the Jesus of God Almighty. Each one is again very good sign of what has happened. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the elements here that have been prayed upon. Is just standing as a contact for all the elements 
all over the world where you are going to partake tonight. And I can assure you, as you partake, the one who can bring dreams to pass will begin to bring your dreams to pass. The Lord Jesus, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had broken it, he said, take, eat, this is my body broken for you, do this in remembrance of me, in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When you take the bread tonight, just tell the Almighty God, that dream of being absolutely healthy, grant that my dream tonight. Father, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now when you drink the wine, your cry to God will be, Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let all my dreams, past, present, and future, be totally fulfilled. After the same manner, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as soft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Almighty God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let all my dreams, past, present, and future, be completely fulfilled. Almighty God, the one who can do all things, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. The one for whom nothing, nothing can be too hard. Let all my dreams, Lord, past, present, and future, be completely fulfilled to the glory of your holy name. Ramoshiki, Ramatundiki, Rimonko, Tundra Karamakashata. Enkramonko ronde ke sheke remoko tonde ke remaka shatonde remoko tonda Ekeke ke romoko rondre mahoko shinde Enkramonko tondra mama hike ke romoko shinde ke makeke kendra moko ronde moko sheke remako tonda Oh thank you my father my god Glory be to your holy name lord let all my dreams be fulfilled, Lord. Oh, Lord, let them be fulfilled magnificently. Even above all I can think or ask for, do them, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so, my Father, my God, the one who can give dreams to Joseph and bring even the seemingly impossible to pass. I thank you on behalf of every one of us for this very, very special Holy Communion service.
Please, Lord God Almighty, our dream of complete divine health grant to us tonight. Amen. And then all other beautiful dreams, Lord God Almighty, particularly dreams of doing mighty things for you, our dreams of the past, present, and future, bring them all to pass. Amen. And we will bless your name forever. Amen. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord.